Hi, right, welcome back to 3D printed soup. This is PLA, this is soup. You will learn the difference. Usually when I'm doing recording of my 3D printing, I only do time lapse, and to record that, I use an action cam. Unfortunately, the action cam is a little difficult to get to connect to the 3D printer itself because you need it to be attached to the build plate that moves constantly forward and backwards. So you can't have anything too heavy and cumbersome that it stops the build plate working because then your 3D print will go off. So what I did as a stopgap measure was attach the action cam to a clip using blue tack and a bit of a hairband. Now, that was all right, but surely there's a 3D printed gimbal or 3D printed clamp I can print that's gonna make my action cam attached to my build plate work a whole lot better. So I had to dig around on Thingiverse as usual and found a fantastic tension arm that you can attach to the front of your 3D printer, attach a GoPro to it, other action cams are available, and allow it to move freely backwards and forwards and adjust the angle to something that I want and not have to worry about this half fast workaround again. So, links in the description below as always. Let's give this a try.
Right, okay, that is that printed and assembled. And as you can see, that holds the uh, action cam really, really nicely on top. The joints are nice and stiff, so it's not going to move around the place when it's moving backwards and forwards. And you can get it to like really any angle you want it to. You can go sort of straight flat, or you can have it at a 90 degree angle, or you can have it bending pretty much right over, filming straight down. So that's perfect. So I should be able to get some really, really good new angles on my 3D printing. But it's all way worth saying that. Let's give it a look and see how it works. That went really, really well. It turned out very, very nicely. I like the way that I can now film at many different angles and it gives me so much more diversity and variation when it comes to actually being able to film 3D printing. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. As always, I upload a video a week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a like if you like. If you don't, give me a down thumb thing. I won't take it personally. Leave me a comment if you want to have anything else 3D printed or if you've got any questions about Filming 3D printing, any questions about 3D printing itself, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks to everyone who commented last week, that was really, really nice. And thanks to everyone who commented on my uh, action figure print. I've got lots and lots of feedback on that, and um, yeah, very, very happy with you guys. Well, love you all, and see you next week.